In 2012, the New York State Department of Health applied to the CDC's Community Transformation Grant Small Communities Program on behalf of Broome, Cattaraugus, and Chautauqua Counties. The three-county project aimed to prevent the occurrence of future chronic disease in children ages 0 through 18 across a continuum of child-centered environments, including the early child care setting. Objectives focused on increasing physical activity, improving nutrition, and decreasing exposure to tobacco. In Chautauqua County, we had 45 altogether trained providers. Uh, we had over 30 that, were, that chose to be trained as well as received the technical assistance visits, which meant we came into the home and worked with the children and the provider at the same time teaching the physical activity. And also we had over 270 people, individual people trained in the process. And also we had as a population reach, in other words, uh, how many children did we reach throughout the process? Over 1,600. This project was of great need in Chautauqua County, with one in three public school children considered overweight or obese. Across the United States, 20% of all children between the ages of 2 and 5 are overweight or obese. Children at an unhealthy weight as preschoolers are five times as likely to be overweight or obese as adults. Prevention in early childhood makes a big difference in lifelong health. And part of this problem relates to what goes on in early child care settings. We're seeing that many studies have showed that um, many children are actually very sedentary in child care settings. So they're not moving as much as they should be. They're not getting their recommended allotment of physical activity. With obesity on the rise and a trend toward increasingly sedentary lives, the need to engage our youth at an early age and start them down a path with an active lifestyle is more important than ever. Unless we reverse obesity trends, today's youth may have a shorter life expectancy than their parents. Through a partnership between the Chautauqua County Department of Health and Human Services and Chautauqua Opportunities Incorporated, and using the model created by Dr. Diane Kraft, a physical activity specialist position was created to recruit and train child care providers to increase both the quantity and the quality of developmentally appropriate physical activity. The concept of a physical activity specialist is really a result of viewing what was working with registered dietitians with New York State Eat Well, Play Hard that's part of the CACFP, Child and Adult Care Food Program. So the thought was if it's working well to have experts with nutrition providing nutrition training, it ought to work very well to have experts in movement provide the physical activity training for the child care providers. The trainings that we were able to provide through this grant allowed Andrew, the specialist, to really work with the providers, get to know them and what their needs are, and to meet them where they were at. This meant that he was able to do it in large groups, he was able to go to their home, offer coaching and mentoring, and then support. And he really was able to help the providers become leaders in physical activity instead of just a uh, provider who's getting the training towards the mandate of OCFS. When I first went into the homes and observed physical activity um, or centers, um, where it was more of a, fl a free play activity, um, and one of the things that we were trying to do is we were trying to change the free play into adult-led um, controlled movements. But on top of that, we wanted to add minutes into their day where they were vigorously active. And we felt the best way to do that is through adult-led activity, um, where we would focus on fundamental movement patterns. The goal is to give children lots of practice and hopefully instruction in each of those fundamental movement skills so that by age six, seven, or eight, they're catching, throwing, kicking, striking, walking, running, galloping, sliding, skipping, etc., at the mature stage. By doing those, we would have the we could we could have by giving them a set adult-led activity where it has a time period and a start and stop time. We could we could actually tell how much vigorous activity a child was getting, and that's really where we were aiming to, to change from free play to adult-led. Dr. Kraft's active playbook served as a framework to train providers about physical activity. The goal of the active play curriculum is to give each provider the tools necessary to increase the amount of vigorous physical activity to 30 minutes a day for children ages 2 through 5. I love that my son participates in lots of different physical activities throughout the day. Uh, 
so that we can share in the benefits uh, in terms of mental and physical well-being uh, as a family when he gets home at night. There are many, many benefits of physical activity and providing opportunities for young children to be physically active. They include, of course, obesity prevention because when we're physically active, we're burning calories. That's helping with weight control. And that also includes brain uh, functioning. More and more research is coming out with neurophysiologists about the benefit of being physically active when seeking to learn cognitive concepts. Research shows that in the initial school years, kindergarten, first, maybe second grade, the more popular children are the better movers. And so child care providers who give the children in their care the opportunity to practice their fundamental movement skills, enjoy moving, are really doing a social favor for the children too. After the group trainings, the physical activity specialists provided physical activity supplies and technical assistance to providers to help them practice leading the lessons on their own. This ongoing coaching and technical assistance was a unique opportunity for the providers who had never before been offered training on physical activity. When you came with your program, it really um, bridged the gap from what I was already doing with the kids, and you gave me so many good ideas of how, when we couldn't get outside, what I could do inside with the kids. We ran into a few things that we saw over and over again, especially uh, limited space, limited equipment, um, and the providers were very uncomfortable teaching physical activity. Uh, also, they had wide ranges of, of ages of kids. So they might have a two-year-old and a five-year-old, and, and, and that is very hard for them to try to do physical activity because a five-year-old may be much more advanced. Uh, also, one of the biggest things I found over and over again was scheduling. They might have a child that was there from 8 to 10 in the morning and then maybe went to a UPK program, and then they had two other kids that had a morning UPK program that would switch in and out. So that was very difficult for them to try to schedule it into their day where every kid is getting the physical activity. They often struggle with a setting that is small and then they think that they can't offer any physical activity and now we know that we can show them how to provide that training in whatever setting they're in and Andrew has given them tools and now us tools that we'll be able to help them further. Through the Community Transformation Grant and the Physical Activity Specialist Intervention, a stronger relationship has been fostered between the Child Care Resource and Referral Agency and the local health department. This partnership will help pave the way for future opportunities to encourage healthy behaviors in child care settings. With over 273 providers trained, impacting over 1,600 children, the Physical Activity Specialist Pilot Program in Chautauqua County demonstrated an appropriate model resource for early child care physical activity. As physical activity regulations for child care providers change, this model will help the Child Care Resource and Referral Agency to act as a resource for local providers. We're very pleased with how this project went. We think that we've really made an impact in the child care settings, especially in increasing physical activity. When they're done playing quietly, they need that, you know, running around. They just do. So I appreciate you coming. I really do. Because it does make, it makes a difference in the kids' day, how, how they act, how they behave, and um, it just does.